Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent, and today we're going to talk about freehold estates. A freehold estate is an estate in which you have exclusive rights to enjoy the possession of a property for an undefined length of time. In contrast, a less than freehold estate is held for a fixed defined period. The types of freehold estates you should know are fee simple absolute, fee simple defeasible, and a life estate. Fee simple absolute. A fee simple or fee simple absolute is an estate in land. Ownership cannot be defeated by the previous owner or the previous owner's heirs. However, it's not free from encumbrances. Fee simple absolute is the greatest interest in a parcel of land that one could possibly own. Sometimes it's designated simply as fee. It is the most common way real estate is owned in common law countries and is ordinarily the most complete ownership interest that can be had in real property, short of absolute title. Feasible ownership represents absolute ownership of real property and is limited by the four basic government powers of taxation, eminent domain, police power, and its cheat. It can also be limited by certain encumbrances or a condition in the deed. Feasible defeasible. A defeasible estate is created when a grantor places a condition on a feasible estate. Upon the occurrence of a specified event, the estate may be lost. Two types of defeasible estates are the fee symbol determinable and the fee symbol subject to a condition subsequent. If the grantor uses durational language in the condition, such as, to Adam as long as the land is used for a park, then upon the happening of the specified event, the land being used for something other than a park, the estate will automatically terminate or revert back to the grantor or the grantor's estate. This is called a fee symbol determinable. If there is a condition such as no alcohol to be served, then it would be a condition subsequent as you could lose the title if you serve alcohol. Life estate. A life estate is an interest in real property which is held for the duration of the life of a designated person. It may be limited by the life of the person holding it or by the life of another person. For example, Anne could give a property to Dan for the life of Anne. Dan would be the life tenant. A life tenant receives the property and is responsible for the maintenance of the property and paying taxes. If a life tenant allows a property to deteriorate, it would be committing waste. A life tenant cannot commit waste. A life tenant cannot leave a property to anyone in their will. However, a life tenant may sell, mortgage, or lease the property for the duration of the estate, and thus all contracts would be terminated upon the death of the life tenant. For example, if Dan dies and the property goes back to Anne, Anne would have the estate in reversion. If Anne dies, then the property would not be Dan's because he had it as long as Anne was alive. I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about freehold estates. This is Joe from Prep Agent. Remember, keep it concise and keep it simple.